Duke, but now on LWT, slightly later than build, Ant and Deck star in a tribute to the likely lads. Connie Turnbull. Ah, the lass in third year. Who used to show you anything for a bar of chocolate? Aye, ah, whatever happened to her? She's as fat as hell now. I'm not surprised. What about Psycho Stewart? He's much the same, actually. Except we call him Detective Sergeant Stewart now. Hey, do you remember Dimbo Bennett? Dimbo Bennett. He's done very well for himself. Head teacher now. Do you want Bloody hell. <laughs> Hello, Gary. Hello, Bob. How are things? Oh, fine, fine. My God, this place has not changed. Well, everything's changed since you left. This place just used to be a calf. It still is a calf. Looks like an airport departure lounge. What can I get you, Bob? I will have a Mega Mocha Grand Latte, half skimmed, half full, with a vanilla shot and chocolate sprinkles to hold the cinnamon. And for you, sir? A cup of tea. Sir? We've got Earl Grey, Lapsang Souchon, Chamomile, Raspberry Zinger, Lemon and Ginger, Peppermint. Eh, uh, just normal tea. I've got a lovely Assam. I don't care! It's the name of the tea, Terry. Sorry about him, he's been in the army for five years. Yeah, well, that would explain the haircut. Just give me the tea. Oh, I'm not having that. What's wrong now? Well, he's left the string on the tea bag. You can't have a cup of tea with the string hanging out of it. Give me a coffee. Sure. Would you like espresso, cappuccino, macchiato, americano, all that bit? Sounds like the Chelsea midfield. You got me instant? <laughs> of course we have. I'll bring him over. Another lot there, Dennis. <laughs> What's going on? In the old days, you'd ask for tea and you'd get tea. You'd ask for coffee, and you'd get coffee. Now they come at you with all these questions. Well, that's called freedom of choice, Terry. Well, I chose a cup of tea, but I didn't get it. Ah, I don't know about this place. I mean, look at that. Homemade sugar lumps. You didn't get those in the old days. Well, in the old days, you didn't get lots of things, like electricity, or penicillin, or facial soreness. I mean, when this place used to be like it was in the old days. Before I went away, this was an honest-to-goodness greasy spoon. When it was too quick for a full English fry-up and a cup of tea, you could trot a mouse over. And none of this frothy milk nonsense. And I suppose you preferred it in the old days, with its cracked teacups and its flypaper and its tomato-shaped sauce bottles. I suppose you preferred Tommy Mossop, the Sultan of Salmonella, with his spatula, his sweaty neck and his fagash in your fried egg. He knew the horses did, Tommy. Gave me a few good tips, I can tell you. Not on hygiene, he didn't. Don't you remember the time health and safety found rat droppings in the deep fat fryer? Oh, you're making us hungry now. Can you do us two rounds of toast, please? Oh, they don't do toast. They don't do toast? We've got panini, bruschetta, baki, panettone, and moretti. I should have known. The Chelsea defence. Anything else for you guys? I suppose a bovril's out the question, is it? No, thank you, Dennis. OK. Well, if you want me, there's a shot. You knew where you were with Tommy. <laughs> Beg your pardon? Well, I wouldn't let anybody with highlights and earrings throw my milk. <laughs> He's a prop, is he? Shh. Collier's law. Any man with an earring, and all air stewards, and all hairdressers, I suppose. Well, it's a well known fact that anybody who's always putting gay people down and being aggressively masculine, like you, is only masking their own latent homosexuality. Do you want to smack in the mouth? You see? You see how aggressively masculine you're being? Well, what do you expect me to do when people are asking these questions like that? Hit them with your handbag. <laughs> Dennis is married with three kids. Is he? All oh, right. Only came out last year. Hey, who do you fancy will win the game? Oh, England, I should think, Gary. Won't be easy, though, will it? Our team, they are Bulgaria, and out there. Shame they can't show it live. Yeah, but it'll be on the box tonight, uh... Gonna watch it? No, we've rented the video of the Lion King. 
I'm also going to watch it. Trouble is, kickoffs at lunchtime. I don't know how we're going to get through the whole day without learning the score. You'll never make it. There's the radio, television, papers, evening news. We'll make it. Hard lads, those Bulgarians. No walkover. No, I fancy a draw myself. What does he know about football? Quite a lot. Quite a lot. He had a try for Bradford once. Him? Never. Still plays. Sunday League, like. And Gary. You see, you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Just because you're gay doesn't mean you're soft. I mean, don't tell me there were no gay men in the army. Of course there weren't. How could there be? I mean, we shared showers and stuff. Oh, yeah? Yes. And do you think we would have been comfortable with all that nudity and horseplay if we knew one of us was a shirtlifter? Who's <laughs> so, he sure? Morning, lads. Hello, Flint. It's Flint. Not skinny, Flint. You've been away a long time. Good God. Is that Collier? What are you doing here? Gagging for a decent fry up. Oh, you want to watch that, mate? A moment on the lips. A lifetime on the hips. <laughs> Sugar-free OK, please, and a cup of chamomile tea. Right off then. So, who do you think will win the match, then? I heard. Heard what? The news from Bulgaria. Don't, Don't tell us. us. We want to watch it on the box tonight. You'll never last till tonight. Here, let me put you out of your misery. Don't tell us. Please, Brenda. That's just like him. I was once standing in a queue to see Titanic, and he came out of the cinema and told me the ending. <laughs> Typical. Are you growing a moustache? No, why? Just a question. <laughs> Wonder who scored the goals? Well, we don't know who got them, do we? Them or us? Well, it must have been them. They were the home team. Two nilly said not nil two. Yes, but people don't go around saying nil two, do they? I mean, not in ordinary speech. They don't. They don't say nil two. They say we won two nil or we lost two nil. Cheers, Brenda. Yeah, well, he's still up for the night, though, hasn't he? I mean, whoever scores first on the box, then that's it. We know. <sighs> All that careful planning gone to waste. Take the day off work so I don't hear the score there. Warn Thelma and her mother not to expect to hear from me for 24 hours. Cancel the evening papers. Disconnected the car radio in case I switched it on by mistake. All for nothing. Game's not on till 10.30 tonight, and we last out till 5 to 1. Hang on a minute. What? Kick-off's at 1 o'clock our time, right? They're only just kicking off now. Flint was having us on! What a rotten thing to do! <laughs> Have you heard the news from Bulgaria? <sighs> Where is Bulgaria? <laughs> well, it's... Eastern Europe, isn't it? I mean, if you're going from Greece towards Russia, it's kind of second on the left. Probably. Probably. <laughs> Thought you were posted out that way, Bosnia. Aye, well, I might have been. They didn't always tell you where you were in the special ops. <laughs> special ops? Oh, I can still feel the tight knot of fear in the gut. The sweaty palms as I check the mags before the jump. Your mum said you were in stores, bedding. Well, I wasn't going to tell me mum where I was, was I? She'd never have slept for five years. No. She'd have been having nightmares about you being buried under an avalanche of under blankets. <laughs> How do you know where Bulgaria is? Well, it was on the news, wasn't it? It's where they've had all that terrible flooding. It's tragic. Thousands homeless. Ah, well, that'll be to our advantage. Heavy pitch. <laughs> what a rotten thing to say. What an inhuman attitude. Well, they know how to cope with floods and such like, catastrophes, that sort of thing. And what does that ridiculous remark mean? Well, all them countries over there, Bulgaria, Iran, the Middle East, they're unstable. If it's not floods, it's earthquakes. If it's not earthquakes, it's typhoons. Pack the pork structures, please, Brenda. That's what makes the people so unstable, so hysterical. Cheers. Always oh, leaping up and down, wanting a war or a change of government. Are you, are you seriously putting that forward as a, as a theory of national character? Certainly. It's true. Now you take Britain. We don't get earthquakes or tidal waves or floods, do we? You have been away a long time. All right, we get those bitter northeasterlies in February, but we don't pack up our possessions and flee south. That made the British character so 
stable, so relaxed, calm under crisis. Well, according to you, we don't get any crises. We don't. But if we did, we'd be calm under them. <laughs> You know, I'm learning a lot about your prejudices today. We could go right around the world and you would have a pat response ready. Well, I'm a troubled man, you see. All right, well, what do you think about Koreans? Cruel people, not to be trusted. <laughs> Much the same as all Orientals. All oh, right, so there's a third of the world's population dismissed in a phrase. Russians? Sinister. Egyptians? Cowardly. I thought you might have saved that for Italians. No, they're greasy, aren't they? Mind you, not as greasy as the French. <laughs> Germans? Arrogant. Spaniards? Lazy. Danes? Pornographic. <laughs> That's just about everybody then, is it? Oh, hang on a minute, what about Americans? Well, they're just flashy, aren't they? So it's just down to the good old British then, is it? Well, I haven't got much time for the Irish or the Welsh, and the Scots are worse than the Koreans. <laughs> you never could stand Southerners? I never could stand anybody outside this town. There's a couple of families in my street I don't like. Come to think of it, I don't even like the people next door. I see. So from the distant blue Pacific through the barren wastes of Manchuria to 127 Ingham and Terrace, you can't abide anyone. How you came to marry a German girl, I'll never know. The failure of my marriage only goes to prove my point. Them and us don't mix. England should take heed of my failed entry into Europe. God didn't make this country an island by accident, you know. Hello, lads. Heard the latest score, have you? Ah, oh, shut up, Flint. Only a joke, only a joke. Yeah, well, people don't joke about that kind of thing. You could have ruined our whole day. You'll never lasted all day. We will if we avoid the likes of you. I bet you can't. I bet we can. 20 quid. 20 each. 20 each? You're on. Right, till tonight. Right, till the telly, 10.30. Right. 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 You know it's on the radio now. Live. So what? We won't listen to it. You wouldn't put it on, would you, Brenda Pett? Oh, not if you don't want it, lads. We'll be all right. Five, five, four, oh, eight, four, oh, eight. We now take you over to Sofia, where England are due to play Bulgaria. Oh! Oh! Here's Les Goodman. Pint, please, love. Hello, lads. Heard about the footy? In the army, surveillance is second nature. Hey, look at you two barging in like you're some fugitives of justice. We're in great danger. It's a desperate situation. Oh, you haven't gone back to stealing hubcaps, have you? Come on, Audrey. You wouldn't turn your own brother out. Ah, uh, see, that's what you said when you were stealing hubcaps. <laughs> you're looking well, Bob. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Must be that macrobiotic diet Thelma's put you on. Macrobiotic diet? Well, Thelma doesn't want me having blotchy skin in the wedding photos. Well, they are for life, you know. Hey, there's a TV on in there. Well, switch it off. It, it's for the baby. She likes through the keyboard. Well, just turn the sound down, then. And can you put that radio back on, please? I was listening to that. It's only radio, too. Good God. One day without Steve Wright won't do anybody any harm. <laughs> Nobody else in the house, is there? Just me lover. You haven't got a lover, have you, Ward? Wouldn't surprise me. She's always been easy. Not easy. <laughs> Just romantic. Well, who is he? Oh, he's this beautiful, lithe, six foot seven limbo dancer. A limbo dancer? How low can you get? <laughs> About two foot six on a good night. Is he conspicuous on the Elm Lodge housing estate? The neighbours say when they see him coming through the gate. 
or under it. They say lucky Audrey. You haven't really got someone up there, have you? Of course I haven't. How have I got time for a lover with two kids in the house? I'd just be about to melt into a passionate embrace and a grubby little headed pee around the door, asking for another marmite buddy. Or my unemployed brother would turn up. Not unemployed, just inactively seeking work. So what are you doing here, then? We've come to keep out the way. There's a match on this afternoon, and we've got a £20 bet on we won't hear the score before it's on the telly tonight. We'll be no bother. We'll just sit here. You can get on with hoovering the baby or whatever it is you do. Yes, well, if you want anything to eat, I've got nothing in. Oh, Audrey, we can't eat. Too much pretty much attention. No. And you wouldn't want to ruin your diet, would you? Go on, up you go. Your lover's getting restless. Yes, well, if you hear any funny noises, don't worry. He's only lowering his paw. I wouldn't mind them all, my buddy. Game's nearly over now. Injury time. Aye, there'll be a lot of injury time out there with those Bulgarians. Oh, that's another generalisation, is it? Bulgarians are vicious. Well, they are. Especially on a heavy pitch. It was on a heavy pitch. Thick mud. Sliding tackle too late. Put me out of the game. Ruined my chances. What chances? My chances of a career in professional football. You are joking. Oh, I can still remember that day. Sleet slanting down from an overcast sky. The crunch of our bodies colliding. A stab of pain above the right knee. The crowd being for a penalty. The crowd? Both of them? Pardon? <laughs> oh, you make it sound like one of the great moments in soccer history, like match of the century. Hell's teeth, it was only our scout troop against Biker Boys Brigade. <laughs> Played on an old bit of waste ground round the back of the Asda car park. Left its mark on me for life, it did. The only crowd was our scoutmaster and a little old lady exercising her Airedale. Perhaps it was her Airedale you heard, Bane. There were no trees on that waste ground. Who scored the only goal? Little Mickey Thompson. Did he hell? Yes, he did. It was his shot. It just hit your arse on the way in. <laughs> that was a very cunning deflection. <laughs> if I hadn't had that injury, if I didn't have to give up training to go to night school, if I didn't have to sacrifice my natural talent to bring a living wage into that house, if oh, I didn't... you make enough conditions? If I'd have at school, if Mick Jagger was me dad, if the Germans had won the last war, if Ann Whittacombe was a six-foot-seven limbo dancer, I might have been chairman of the CBI. <laughs> or one of S Club 7. I'm just saying... <laughs> I'll put the kettle on. Don't answer that phone! Do you mind? It is my house. Don't answer it. It's a trick. It'll be him with the score. He's traced us. It could just happen to be for me. It could be me mum or me husband. Or Chris Tarrant. Or an obscene phone call. Hello? Yes, just hang on a minute. It's Brian Flint for you. Why is you picking on me? Is it because I is ginger? I? I don't know where you get it from. Now listen up good, Harry G. You is not gonna mess things up for me and me jubilee. Yo, respect. Mm. 2D TV, the new series after a tribute to the likely lads. She'll be right in here for a while. Aye. Not the sort of place anyone would think of. Someone's been on a vicar about the wedding anyway. Might as well get it over with. Well, at least it's safe and it's dry and it's flint-proof. Just like the old days, isn't it? You know, sanctuary. Eh? You could claim sanctuary in a church in the Middle Ages. You know, you could do anything you wanted. Steal a sheep, behead someone. <laughs> Pillage a Saxon maiden. And all you had to do was hide in a church and the law couldn't touch you. The church was round our way, full of villains. There'd be no room for the congregation. Mm. <laughs> Got any cards? You can't play cards. Not in the house of God. He won't mind. If we apologise on the way out. Anyway, it seems a fairly harmless pastime to me compared to sheep stealing and pillaging maidens. Well, it's still not right. Could play battleships. Got nothing to write with. I used to play that when I was in the choir during the sermon. Ah, oh, typically you being in the choir. Boy soprano. I used to take the lead in Brother James's air. I quite enjoyed the life actually. And you got to see what went on backstage, 
<laughs> didn't your mother want you to go into the church? No, never. I she did? No, she didn't. She wanted me to be in Spando Ballet. <laughs> you never know, you never know. There might have been a big future with my voice. I was a big hit in the Phenom Amateur Operatic Society. Well, at least you weren't kicked in the throat. It was different with me and my ligaments. I didn't mind not being a singer, actually. I would have rather been an airline pilot. <laughs> my mother wanted me to be a doctor, like George Clooney. <laughs> well, we've achieved nothing for no one, have we? Ourselves or our parents. Too late now. Couldn't do it anyway. To do that, I'd have to be a new romantic airline pilot and you'd have to be a midfield brain surgeon. <laughs> Time, you make? Ten past four. Game will be over. Ground will be empty. Crowd will have streamed away in their thousands. Aye. Back to their communes and their collective farms. Trudging through the bulk and mud in their wellies. Team will be back in the hotel. Drowning the memory of a crushing defeat in post-communist reconstructed brown ale. Or celebrating. Victory champagne, kebab and chips and a sing-song with posh. Be there. She will be if she's pushing a new single. <laughs> we can't stay here for another six hours, man. It'll be getting dark soon. It'll be creepy. Oh, we can slip away under the cover of darkness. We'll go to my new house over the back, over the sides and through the allotments. Via the offy. Via the offy. I spy, <laughs> with my little eye, something beginning with F. Font. How did you get that, you jammy beggar? I just know the way your mind works. Oh, do you now, yeah, do you? Yeah. All right, all right. I spy, my little eye, something beginning with SGW. Stained glass window. Oh! <laughs> well, that was easy, that, wasn't it, eh? Any fool could have got that. Right, OK. I spy, with my little eye, something beginning with B. Sorry, what? B. B. I thought you said P. B. 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 It's Bible. Wrong. Why did you hesitate? It is Bible, isn't it? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. <laughs> All right, if it's not Bible, I give up. What is it? Pardon? I give up. What is it? Come on, quickly, quickly. It's not Bible. Oh, come on, quickly. Never was Bible. <laughs> But, but if you want to give up, if you give up... Ah, oh, you cheat. Who is? You! It's... Belfry. Belfry? <laughs> Belfry's the tower up top. Nobody's little like and spy the Belfry from here. I mean, who am I playing with here? Superman in his X-ray vision? I'm very sorry. I didn't realise it was I spy with my X-ray eye. I didn't know the Belfry was up there, did I? I thought the Belfry was that little room over there. That? is the vestry. Well, how am I supposed to know that? What chance have I got playing with the next choir boy? <laughs> I spy with my little I'm eye. sick of that. All right. <laughs> what time's it now? At the third stroke, it will be four, 12 and 30 seconds. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> all at my labs, all at my labs. <laughs> Your card's right, isn't it? <laughs> Once again. Oh, yeah. Right. Quit again. Higher or lower? You're on. OK. <laughs> Higher or lower than a seven? <laughs> Higher. Higher than a seven, you say? <laughs> a six. Uh... Ah. Pound, please. Good game, good game. <laughs> OK. Higher or lower than a six? Lower. Lower than a six, you say? Five. Pound, please. Tell you what, double or quits for the next game. You're on. Higher or lower than a five? Lower. <laughs> nice to see you, to see you. Nice. <laughs> I knew you were in here. Your car was parked outside. What are you doing here? Praying for a good result? Now, Flint, you, you cannot touch us in here. This is sanctuary. Yes. The Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh away. Twenty quid each. 
And now is a text from the Gospel according to Sven. Eleven men and three substitutes <laughs> did go forth into battle with the host of the Bulgarian multitude. <laughs> and the heavens opened, and there was Good nothing. afternoon. And what brings you here? Are you doing a, a guest sermon? Are you, are you holding auditions? Are you... Why are you holding the collection plate? Oh, this. Uh, well, we were uh, thinking of making a donation. Oh, I see. <laughs> Church Restoration Fund. Disabled ex-choir boys. <laughs> well, that's very generous of you. We look forward to seeing you in church on Sunday. I'll see you then, Vic. Don't move your head. <laughs> Don't turn your head. There's a TV shop on your left with about 12 sets on. It's all right, it's only countdown. Well, that won't stop them, will it? We interrupt this programme to bring you an important announcement and consonants to Richard Whiteley. Where shall I drive to, then? Just keep going. I don't really fancy driving out into the country. No hiding place. You realise you're going down a one-way street? So what? So we can't turn round? So why would I want to turn around? Because in 50 yards you pass a one-legged news vendor flaunting his placard. God, you're right. But it won't say the score, it'll just say match result or England score latest. Well, what if it doesn't go once? What if it says England victory or Sven's men shaken by the Bulgars? <laughs> minutes to go. What a day it's been. Endless. The longest day. Do you know, it must be like this being on the run. Some of the places we've been. Still, at least we got something out of it. If we hadn't been on the run, we would never have got to that old people's home. And if we never got to the old people's home, we would never have learned flower arranging. <laughs> I might come in handy one day. And we might save a life with those pints of blood we gave. True, true. A victim of motorway madness Saved by a pint of Collier's Old Peculiar. <laughs> Did it hurt? Of course it didn't hurt. Just the heat in there that made you faint, was it? <laughs> well, I'd had nothing to eat all day, had I? Except for a bag of pork scratchings. Hey, there's not some light coming through them windows, is there? No, there isn't. I went out and checked in the garden five minutes ago. You couldn't tell there was anybody in this house. Here, we could switch it on. No, we couldn't. You get the ITN news. You know what they're like. They lull you into a false sense of security, then BAM! Hit you with the football results. Well, Flint, you've got five more minutes. Is that phone unplugged? Hi. Mobile off? Yep. Do you know, I'm surprised Flint never sent you a text message. If he did, you couldn't have opened it. Well, you've got to open a text message. You can't not open a text message. You can when there's 40 quid at stake. Yeah, but what if it's bad news? I mean, Thelma might have had an accident. Well, they'll ring you up. They wouldn't send a text message. But we've got the phone unplugged. Well, no one Thelma would be on the news. We've got the set off. Ah, oh, settle down, man, settle down. I'm sorry, I'll be all right. Pretty much nerves, I expect. We're almost there. Do you know, it's been quite easy, hasn't it, really? I mean, I thought Flint would have given us more of a run for our money. Well, there was one very dodgy moment. Yeah, in the church. No, in the hospital when I came round. Caught a glimpse of the headlines in the Chronicle. Well, why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to upset you. Well, why upset me now? Because I've been upset on my own for the last four hours. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. I'm not going to say anything. Oh, well, I, you can't just say that and then not tell me. I mean, I, I need to know now. I've got to know. It's all right. I didn't see the score. I just saw England F. I beg your pardon? England F. So the first word England and the first letter of the second word F. Oh, that's obvious, isn't it? England flop. 
Not necessarily. Or England fade, or England fiasco. Yeah, no, no, you, hey man, you're going to bits. Could be anything, couldn't it? Could be England fight back. Hi, England fight back. After early setback. Or, or England forge ahead. Or even England five. <laughs> or England fail. Why did you have to tell me? Oh, shut your face, will you? Cooey. Flint, how long have you been there? Someone left the back door open. He goes to check the light and leaves the door open. Turn up with the football tonight, lads. Ah, oh, shut up, Flint, shut up. OK, you've won your bet, we accept that. Now let us watch the match in peace. What, you mean you still don't know? No, no we, we don't. don't. Here, take your money, take your blooming money. Yes, take your money. Lend us a 20, kid. Ah. There you are. That's the way you want it, lads. Yes, it is. Now go on, leave us in peace. Look, I, I feel I should. Oh, shut, shut up, Flint! Flint. See you later, then. You hairbrained twit. <laughs> Why don't you make an open house and invite the one-legged news vendor round as well? Oh, shut up! Shut up and pipe down. At least we've still got the match to enjoy. Let's at least try and salvage something out of today. We still don't know what England left. <laughs> England? Find that touch. England failed to save Bob Ferris a fortune. You'll get your money. We're now going over to Vienna for the finals of the European Figure Skating Championships. You what? This replaces the England-Bulgaria match, which, as you all know by now, was postponed earlier today owing to a waterlogged pitch. <laughs> England flooded out! Next Saturday at 9 o'clock, an audience with Lulu. Details of that on the way. Then Will Young, Hugh Grant and Sophie Ellis-Bexter get the 2D TV treatment.